We stand on a lonely, windswept point on the northern shore of France. But 40 years ago at this moment, the air was dense with smoke and the cries of men, and the air was filled with the crack of rifle fire and the roar of cannon. Here in Normandy, the rescue began. At dawn on the morning of the 6th of June, 1944. 62 of the rangers who scaled the cliffs there at Pointe de Hope. Now back 40 years later to the scene of their heroic action. These are the boys of Pointe de Hope. These are the men who took the cliffs. It was a very moving experience. They were what General Marshall called our secret weapon, the best damn kids in the world. Where do we find them? Where do we find such men? And the answer came almost as quickly as I'd asked the question. Where we've always found them in this country. On the farms, the shops, the stores and the offices. They just are the product of the freest society the world has ever known. Someday, Liz, I'll go back, said Private First Class Peter Robert Zanetta of the 37th Engineer Combat Battalion and first assault wave to hit Omaha Beach. Liz Zanetta Hen began her story by quoting her father who promised that he would return to Normandy. She ended with a promise to her father who died eight years ago of cancer. I'm going there, Dad. And I'll see the beaches and the barricades and the monuments. I'll see the graves and I'll put flowers there just like you wanted to do. I'll feel all the things you made me feel through your stories and your eyes. I'll never forget what you went through, Dad, nor will I let anyone else forget. And Dad, I'll always be proud. Through the words of his loving daughter, who is here with us today, a D-Day veteran has shown us the meaning of this day far better than any president can. It is enough for us to say about Private Zanetta and all the men of honor and courage who fought beside him four decades ago, we will always remember. We will always be proud. We will always be prepared so we may be always free. <laughs>